Hey man, great video. I um, I think that you've done a hell of a job getting your point across to uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook alike. Um, I'm not necessarily agreeing with your methods of uh, enforcing discipline in the form of destroying your daughter's uh, laptop, but I think that she will certainly be a lot more careful about what she says um, in the future. However, um, whether or not I agree or disagree with with, with what you've done here, um, I, I think that there is now a much, much bigger issue at hand here. Specifically the fact that in the last, what is it, three days since you made that video, your video has now exploded to over 13 million views. It, I don't even think it shows how many views are on it now because it can't, it doesn't update the individual page. If you go to the search, it will actually show that the video has over 13 million at this point. The video itself doesn't even register 12 million yet. You're actually getting views so fast that your own video is not updating fast enough to reflect how many people are watching it. That is the level, that is the, ins that is the most insane thing I have heard in a long time. And I, and I worry about the possible consequences here. Now that may sound like paranoia. Um, but I had a video at one point of a kid at Best Buy. It was a video someone I knew, who used to be a friend of mine, who worked at Best Buy, um, had had acquired off of a webcam they had there. Some little, some kid, some like 12, maybe 12, 15 something year old kid, um, no, probably more like 12, um, was basically playing with a webcam while some song was playing on the radio. It was like another one rides the bus and he was like lip syncing to it. He didn't really know the lyrics, and he was making funny faces, kind of swiveling the camera around so that he would have one face, and then it would turn back to him, and he'd have a different expression. He was just goofing off, clowning around, and I thought it was the funniest thing I'd seen ever at the time. This was like 2005, maybe 2006, so I put it up on YouTube, and it exploded over time. Not nearly as big as yours. It exploded. I, I think it got to, at most, about a little under 200K views, and... What was funny, what I thought, now, eventually I took the video down specifically because I started getting comments about people who apparently knew this kid in school. People who were telling me that now at school, everyone knew about this kid and his video and were now like poking fun at him about it in class. And even like some of the teachers were mentioning it and having laughs about it. And I thought, well, that, that kind of sucks for that kid. Because I, I don't know that he really wanted that kind of attention over some goof off. He was just having fun over just having fun with a camera at a store at random one day, and I felt bad about that. So I made the video private, and nobody really sees it anymore. It's just a little thing that I have that that it's just like in my private reserve here. Um, now that was just a mere two hundred thousand videos. Your video has exploded to over 13 million and my video took like months years to accumulate that much attention your video has accumulated over 13 million within two to three days the possibilities for negative consequences to your daughter here is is palpable it is really really bad what could happen here I mean the amount of humiliation that could come from this just from other kids after they hear all of this is insane because this isn't just some response to your daughter um, being posted in a public venue. This is something being broadcast to the entire planet much more forcefully than anyone, any, anything she could have accomplished. And I understand the attitude of let the punishment fit the crime, but your method of doing it was a hell of a lot more effective than whatever she did because I really doubt your daughter accumulated millions of, 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 of views on her rant about you, about how she thought she was a slave, which was a stupid, stupid uh, thing to talk about, no question. Disrespectful and really rude and ignorant and blatantly childish, but again, she's a kid, so that's kind of what your job is there for, to make sure she grows out of that. But I think that what you've done here might be going a little too far. Not so much because of your actions, although I think you might have gone too far a bit, but not, you know, to an insane degree, but I think the results of your video and the effects it may have in the real world, just from all of the attention the video is getting, could be really bad. 
I mean, there are websites where people will talk about these videos and f dig up uh, public information about the people in the videos. Like things like addresses, names, phone numbers, and spread that info around so that people who have real strong opinions can dial you guys up and make prank phone calls. Or maybe just send angry letters to your daughter about, you're a stupid bitch, your dad works hard, dirt, dirt, dirt. And while that, may, that might sound like a good idea, you have to keep in mind that your daughter made one really dumb, angry rant. And it might be a little too much for her. What, the possible consequences from this just might be way more than she deserves for what she did wrong. And I just hope that you're prepared to mitigate possible damage that could come from this because there there is almost certainly going to be some damage from this as popular as your video is getting word gets around and what goes around comes around actually no that's that's the wrong phrase for that um, it, it, you made your bed now you got to lay in it and unfortunately you've kind of made your daughter's bed for her now and she's gonna have to deal with all the attention that this video is bringing to her and you and I just hope that you're able to uh, to handle what comes. But hopefully nothing serious will come of it and you guys will come out of this okay. And uh, it'll just be, you know, a big short-lived thing where everyone's like, oh, hey, your dad made a really great video. Ah. You know, hopefully nothing bad will come of this. But I'm paranoid and I just thought it should be brought to your attention if you hadn't thought of it already. You probably already considered it. Because you really seem like a pretty bright and uh, guy with a really, really, really tight head on your shoulders. So I'm not going to pass judgment and assume you don't know nothing, obviously. Anyway, anyway, that's all I had to say. I hope that, uh, I hope for the best for you and your family. And hopefully your daughter learns her lesson from this and it doesn't lead to uh, further problems as a result of all the attention this video is going to be bringing. Um, if it does, well... Well, shit happens. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, best of luck to you both.